Let's bring in NBC News Chief White House Correspondent Kristen Walker. And Kristen, you could see the emotion on Judge Jackson's face. She wiped tears multiple times as the president and the vice president were speaking and then took that microphone and delivered essentially a message to women and girls who look like her across this country that this is possible. You're absolutely right, Allie, and I think you highlight the key point here. This was the most emotional that we have ever seen Judge Jackson. Uh, she was quite unflappable during her confirmation hearings. But today, she spoke in deeply personal terms about what this moment means to her, but what it means in the arc of history of this country, and she made it very clear she does not believe that she would be here if it weren't for those who came before her, if it weren't for all of her family, friends, and community who has rallied around her. She quoted Maya Angelou uh, and, of course, talked about, as you said, that it has been one generation from segregation to the Supreme Court, becoming incredibly emotional when she delivered that line. She she thanked, of course, her husband, saying she couldn't do this without him, and her daughters calling being their mother the greatest joy of her life. Hallie, and those are the types of comments that you would expect. But I think it's important to underscore she thanked a long list of people who helped her throughout this confirmation process, including junior staffers here at the White House by name. And that really, I think, stood out to a lot of people here. In fact, one of the onlookers made that very point to me how notable it was that she was thanking everyone who had helped her through this confirmation process. So this was a chance for her to mark this moment, this historic moment, but also to thank those who made this moment possible. And it struck me, Hallie, when she said, we have made it. Uh, she got a standing ovation when she said that. President Biden taking every inch of this victory lap today. This yeah. is a campaign promise kept, as you and I started talking about. I thought it was notable he talked about the very heated confirmation hearing, referring to some of the exchanges as, quote, verbal abuse. He talked about the anger, the, quote, vile, baseless assertions that were made during that confirmation hearing. And that is notable because I think that you can anticipate similar messages from him, from other Democrats out on the campaign trail. Of course, this does come against the backdrop of a midterm election year. But he praised those three Republicans who supported Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson as well. And, Hallie, I would just make one final point. So much of what we heard today from the vice president, from the president, from Judge Ketanji Brown Jackson was the fact that this moment is historic, but it's significant for the generations to come because now little girls of all colors, of all backgrounds, they say can look up and see themselves in her. And I can tell you, I've been speaking to law students here at American University in Washington, D.C., who said that very same thing to me that sentiment that now they believe they can do anything. Hallie. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.